Welcome, Math 10. Here we go. This is 9.2. This is writing equations using that we have worked with before, where B is the y-intercept and M is the slope of the line. So, number one, write the equation of a line passing through the point 0 and 2 with slope of 5 over 2. So, 0 and 2 is the y-intercept. They try to hide the y-intercept and the slope with different words or with giving you different parts of information. We'll look at that a lot later. So y equals, in goes our slope, 5 over 2, x plus, and in goes our y-intercept, 2. Okay, number 2. Each line on the grid passes through points with integer coordinates. In each case, state the slope and y-intercepts of the line and determine the equation of the line. Okay, line one. So here, and we want to find places on the line where it crosses exactly at integer coordinates. So here at negative three and here at negative four. And if we make that into a nice little triangle, then we can easily find the slope. So we know that it has a rise of 1 and a run of 3. And it's going uphill, so it's a positive slope. So m equals rise of 1, run of 3, and the y-intercept is a negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, yes, negative 4. So our equation, y equals 1 third x, take away 4. Line 2. So let's find some coordinates out here. How convenient, because that's the y-intercept as well. And here. And if we make a triangle there, we can find the slope. And to find your slope, go from one point to the next continuously. And I would always start with the rise. So one, two, three down over one, two, two to the right, which will be positive. So if you're going down, it'll be negative. If you're going left, it will be negative. Y-intercept is 1, 2. And the equation of our line, y equals negative 3 over 2, x plus 2. Okay, now it gets a little more entertaining. Okay, example three. Determine the equation of the following lines. A line parallel to y equals one third x plus four. So we know if it's parallel, the slopes will be the same. So we'll have a slope of one third and same y. So now we write y equals minus seven. B part. The line passing through 0 and 9, so that's our y-intercept. So b equals 9, and perpendicular to the line joining these two points. So we'll need to find our slope first, and then we will have the negative reciprocal slope because it's perpendicular to that line. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And yes, write your equation every time. m equals y2, so 0 minus a minus 6 over negative 5 minus 2 equals add the opposite. So we're going to get 6 over negative 7. And remember that negative can go top, bottom, or middle. 
So now, that's the slope of that point, perpendicular. That's the symbol for perpendicular. Perpendicular slope is going to be the negative reciprocal, which means opposite sign of whatever was already there, and reciprocal. And now we can write the equation. y equals, we're thinking m, which is 7 over 6, x plus b, e, which is 9. Okay, next page. The diagram shows the display from a graph calculator. The intercepts are integers. Determine the equation of the line shown below. Okay, so maximum of the x is going up to 30, and the x scale is going up by 5. We've always just used 1, and now they're going to just change it. That's okay. Up by 5, so 5, 10, 15, 20 for here. And on the y, y is going up by 7, so 7, 14. And now let's do our equation. So m is going to be rise. So if I start here, rise of 14 over run. And notice if I keep going, I'll be going left, negative 20. And that's how I will get my negatives in the proper spot instead of just having to look at it and know that it will be a negative slope. And now we'll reduce. So this will be negative 7 tenths. I'll just move that negative to the top. And then B is going to be my y-intercept, which is 14. And my equation, y equals negative 7 over 10 x plus 14. We're going to go to the next page, to example 5, and then we'll come back. So, on this one, determine the equation of a line through this point and parallel to the y-axis. So let's think about this and draw a little sketch. So if I have a line that's going through negative 2 and way up here at 8, which is totally not what it looks like on my graph, oh well, and it's parallel to the y-axis, so that will be vertical. This, you know, is an x-equals. And it's got to be where it's going through on the x-axis, which is the negative 2. Parallel to the x-axis. So if we draw a little sketch, here we are at negative 2 and up 8. Parallel to the x, we'll be going horizontally. Horizontally, we know, is a y equals. And how high is that line? It's up 8. Back we go. And we're just going to go back on this page. On this page, we are just going to use their space and not actually do the equation. So what we're going to write are some ways they try to hide the slope and the y-intercept. So let's go, I don't know, maybe here. How they... Try, because you're going to find it, to hide slope. So one way that we've seen so far that they hide slope is if they give you two points. And you can find the slope using those two points. Um, number two, we've also seen that they said it was perpendicular to, and then they give you an equation, y equals something. So then you'll know that you'll have the negative reciprocal of the slope that is in the line that they give you. Number three. Similarly, they might say it's parallel to y equals something. 
If it's parallel, you're going to have the same slope as what is in the equation given. Oh, they might have it be invisible as well. And I would write these down instead of just listen to me talk. So they could have y equals x plus 3. And that slope is the invisible one that's sitting in front of the x. Number 5, and we've seen this, they could give you the graph and then you find the slope using counting from the graph usually or if you need to do the points and then find the slope from there you could. Okay what about the y-intercept? Let's go down here. Um, hiding the y-intercept. So here they might give you a point, and they've done that to us here. So 0 and 9 was one of them, and then that y-intercept is the 9. 2, they might have you read it off a graph. Number 3, it might be invisible, so you could have y equals 4x. And then our y-intercept would be this invisible plus zero here at the end, which we never write in. And number four, they might not have it in slope y-intercept form. So in that case, you would move it back to a y equals, and then you would easily be able to see what the y-intercept was from there. That's it. So now we are doing questions. We're going to do 1 to 7. Don't do 3. Don't do 6, C, or D.